Welcome to Arizal Solutions. In this video, let us discuss the phases of clinical trials. Let us see the drug development process overview. It starts with the preclinical trials in which the initial synthesis of the drug molecule will be done and the drug molecule will be tested on animals. The data from the preclinical trials will be submitted to the regulatory authority in the form of investigational new drug application that is IND application and after getting the approval from the regulatory authority the clinical trial phases starts that is phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 and the data from phase 1 to phase 3 studies will be submitted to the regulatory for new drug application review that is NDA review. After getting the approval from the regulatory authority the drug will be released into the market. And after releasing into the market, the phase 4 studies that is post-marketing surveillance studies will be done on the drug molecule. Let us see the preclinical trials. Preclinical trials usually done on animals to determine the drug is safe enough for the human testing or not. The duration of preclinical trials is about 3 to 6 years since the drug discovery. The sample size is not specific in preclinical trials. The population is the in vitro and in vivo animals. The types of studies are also not specific in preclinical trials. The factors identified in preclinical trials are the mechanism of action, the efficacy that means the ability of drug to act against the pathogen or disease, the safety that concerns the medical risk to the patient. Now let us see the phase 0 studies. Phase 0 studies are also called human microdosing studies. Microdose means less than one hundredth of the dose of a test substance calculated to produce pharmacological effect with max dose less than or equal to 100 micrograms. Phase 0 studies gives preliminary data on pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. Phase 0 studies gives no data on safety and efficacy. In phase 0, the number of subjects are very small that is 10 to 15. Preclinical data means subacute toxicity study in one species by more than two routes of administration. Phase 0 studies are very early studies of pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetic properties of a potential drug in human beings. Microdosing studies approach could accelerate drug development process without compromising the clinical safety. Microdosing helps the researchers to select better drug candidates for the clinical trials by providing early human pharmacokinetic and bioavailability data. Now let us see the advantages of phase 0 studies. Because of phase 0 studies, the chances of adverse effects are very less. The duration of phase 0 studies are very short and very less number of volunteers are required for phase 0 studies. And the cost of development is also very less for phase 0 studies and the drug development time is also very less in the case of phase 0 studies. Now let us see the limitations of phase 0 studies. Phase 0 studies are mainly based on PK parameters, not efficacy and safety based. The agents having different kinetic characteristics between micro dose and full dose are not evaluated by phase 0 trials. Now let us see the phase 1 studies. In phase 1, the preclinical data is reviewed and the preparation of investigators brochure will be done and the summaries of preclinical data will be extrapolated in phase 1 studies. In phase 1 studies, the prediction of clinical effects and safety will be done. In phase 1, the filing of investigational new drug application with regulatory will be done. Phase 1 studies are done to determine the pharmacological actions and tolerability. Tolerability represents the degree to which our adverse effects can be tolerated by the patient. The population in phase 1 are healthy population. Factors identified in phase 1 studies are pharmacodynamics that is the desired effect or the side effect or the mechanism of action of drug molecule, pharmacokinetics that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination of drug and the tolerated dose. 
फेज वन इज द फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ टेस्टिंग इन ह्यूमन सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड दीज आर डिजाइन टू एसेस द सेफ्टी टॉलरेबिलिटी फार्माकोकाइनेटिक्स एंड फार्माकोडाइनमिक्स ऑफ द ड्रग नाउ लेट एस सी द काइंड ऑफ फेज वन स्टडीज एस ए डी दैट मीन्स सिंगल असेंडिंग डोज स्टडीज एम ए डी मल्टीपल असेंडिंग डोज स्टडीज एंड द फूड एफेक्ट single ascending dose studies small groups of subjects usually 3 are given a single dose of drug while they are observed and tested for a period of time and if no adverse events are observed the dose is escalated with three new healthy subjects and if the toxicity is observed then three more subjects are given the same dose and if toxicity is found the dose is considered as maximum tolerated dose mtd multiple ascending dose studies multiple ascending dose studies are conducted to understand the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of multiple doses of drug a group of patients receives multiple low doses of drug and the samples like the blood and other body fluids are collected at various time points and analyzed how the drug is processed within the body the food effect investigates the differences in absorption caused by food now let us see the phase 2 studies phase 2 studies are done to evaluate safety and efficacy of the drug molecule the population in phase 2 are with the targeted disease phase 2 studies may be placebo controlled active or randomized the factors identified in phase 2 studies are drug drug interaction drug disease interaction efficacy at various doses and patient safety phase 2 studies are also called therapeutic exploratory trials in phase 2 the number of subjects participated are around 20 to 300 the primary objective of phase 2 studies are to find out efficacy in patients the secondary objective is to find the safety issues phase 2 studies are done to confirm effectiveness monitor the side effects and further safety evaluation phase 2 studies are the first studies done in patients the duration of phase 2 studies are 6 months to several years in phase 2 the optimum dose findings is like the dose efficacy relationship therapeutic dose regimen duration of therapy frequency of administration and therapeutic window will be identified now let us see the phase 3 studies phase 3 studies are done to evaluate the effectiveness and risk benefit ratio effectiveness means the extent to which the drug achieves its intended effects the population in phase 3 are a diverse population with targeted disease phase 3 studies are randomized and controlled In phase 3 the doses intervals risk benefit information efficacy and safety for subgroups will be studied Phase 3 studies are also called therapeutic confirmatory trials Phase 3 studies are done to establish efficacy of drug against existing therapy in large number of patients method of usage and phase 3 studies are done to collect the safety data etc Phase three studies are large scale, multi centered, randomized, and controlled trials. Phase three studies are done in hundred to three thousand patients. The duration of phase three studies are up to five years, and the types of phase three studies are phase three A are done to get sufficient and significant data, and phase three B that allows patients to continue the treatment, label expansion, and additional safety data. objectives of phase 3 phase 3 studies are done to assess overall and relative therapeutic value of new drug efficacy safety and special properties phase 3 studies are done to determine optimal dose schedule for use in general the dose schedule in clinical trial should be as close as possible to its anticipated clinical use phase 3a phase 3a are done prior to new drug application that is nda Phase 3A generates data on safety and efficacy. Phase 3B these are done after new drug application that is NDA but prior to the approval and launch. Phase 3B may supplement or complete the approval and launch. 
and these are earlier trials and may be directed to phase 4 trials. Let us look into new drug application. NDA refers to new drug application. It's a formal proposal for the FDA or the regulatory authority to approve new drug for sale. The sufficient evidences are provided to FDA or regulatory authority to establish the drug is safe and effective, benefits outweigh the risks, the proposed labeling is appropriate, and DEA contains all the information gathered during preclinical phase 2, phase 3 of clinical trials. NDA can be thousands of pages long and new drug application review may take up to two to three years by the regulatory authority. Let us see the phase four studies. Phase four studies are done to monitor long-term effects and effectiveness. The phase four studies are used to study the expanded safety comparison Factors identified in phase 4 studies are the epidemiological data, efficacy and safety within large diverse populations, pharmacoeconomics that means the comparison of value of one pharmaceutical drug or drug therapy to another. Phase 4 studies are done after the drug has been marketed. So phase 4 studies are also called post-marketing surveillance PMS. And there is no fixed duration for phase 4 studies. Phase 4 studies are done in large number of human or patient population. Phase 4 studies continues to collect the data about the effects in various populations and side effects from long term use. Studies are primarily observational or non-experimental in nature. Phase 4 studies helps to detect rare adverse reactions or drug interactions. Phase 4 also used to explore new uses for drugs. In phase 4, periodic safety update reports are identified. Phase 4 reports are to be submitted by the manufacturer every 6 months for 2 years and then annually for next 2 years after marketing and approval. Harmful effects discovered may, be, may result in a drug being no longer sold or restricted to certain uses. For example, on September 30, 2004, Merck withdrew Proficoxib from the market because of concerns about increased risk of heart attack and stroke associated with long-term high-dose use. Let us see the objectives of Phase 4 studies. Phase 4 studies are used to confirm the efficacy and safety profile in large populations during the practice. Phase 4 studies detect the unknown or rare adverse drug reactions. Phase 4 studies are used to evaluate the overdosage. Phase 4 studies are also used for identification of new indications. The dose refinement like evaluation of new formulations, dosages and duration of treatment will be assessed in phase 4 studies. The evaluation of different age groups or types of patients will be done in phase 4 studies. In phase 4, the comparative benefit risk assessment will be done. The benefit cost assessment that is pharmacoeconomics is also studied in phase 4 studies. The drug uses in the community is studied in phase 4. The quality of life assessment will be done in phase 4 studies. Let us see the reporting of a DR. If a healthcare professional suspects that a particular medication is associated with an adverse event observed during the course of caring a patient, he can report the adverse drug reaction to a formal reporting system. Various reporting systems are WHO and International System. In US, it is Medwatch. In UK, it's a low cost system. In India, it is National Pharmacovigilance Program by CDSCO. Let us conclude the session. The clinical trial is a human experiment designed to study the efficacy and safety of new drug or intervention. Clinical trial phases like 
Phase 1 to Phase 4 involves specific objectives with end results, application to the regulatory authority in the form of investigational new drug IND for the permission to conduct clinical trials and NDA new drug application that is a permission to market the new drug. Well designed and effectively executed clinical trials form the base of therapeutic decisions. Clinical trials must follow the guidelines and protocol to ensure well-being of the participants. This is overview of clinical trials. Thank you for watching our video. Follow us on all our social media pages for recent updates. For more information, you may mail us at info@orizol.com and you may visit www.orizol.com.